What's good, Tampa? Welcome back to another episode. If you're looking for things to do this holiday season, here are three recommendations of mine. So just because it doesn't snow here in Tampa doesn't mean we can't enjoy the holiday season. So these three recommendations are all gonna be a guaranteed good time and put you in the holiday spirit. Now, some of them are gonna cost money, some of them aren't, um, but regardless, if you're looking for something fun to do this holiday season with your friends or your family, check these out. So the first one on my list is the Winter Village. Winter Village is going on downtown in Curtis Hickson Park. They also have a small like, cafe where you can get coffee or hot chocolate. Uh, and they also have a small bar there as well. Um, and you can do a little bit of shopping down there from some local vendors. They basically transform Curtis Hickson Park in sounds and lights and activities for family and children to do all through the holiday season. Another cool thing is they have ice skating at the Winter Village. So if you're looking for a place to ice skate, you can ice skate right there on Riverwalk. It's super cool and you've got views of the water while you're ice skating, but it does cost money to ice skate. So Winter Village is free, but the ice skating does cost money and that is $17 for I believe a half hour to ice skate. Um, and you do have to buy tickets in advance. So you have to buy them online in advance. If you go there and try to get them, um, they might not let you ice skate depending on if the time is already booked out. Okay, so number two is Enchanted Christmas and this is at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. This runs from November 26th through January 2nd. And basically what they've done is they transformed Tropicana Field basically like into a Christmas town or like Christmas city. Enchanted Christmas has a couple different parts to it. So they do have a light maze where you can walk through and see all different crazy types of Christmas lights, like Christmas trees, snowmen, houses built out of Christmas lights. It's really, really beautiful and pretty how they've got all the different Christmas lights set up. Then they also have the village. The village is where they have local vendors set up selling all their goods. So go support local business by stopping over there and picking something up. And then they have a place for the kids to meet Santa, of course, and they do also have ice skating as well. So, so the tickets are $25 to $35, just depending on when you're gonna actually be going. They do offer military and senior and children discounts as well. And lastly is the Riverwalk Holiday Spectacular, which goes on through November 29th through January 2nd. At 6 p.m. on November 29th, they're gonna do a lighting of the tree ceremony, but really all this is is they have all the different decorations and and things set up throughout Riverwalk. So just take a walk one night down Riverwalk with your friends or family, check out all the different decorations. There is a full list of them. I'll scroll through them real quick on the screen, but you can check them out on the website. It's a really kind of chill thing to do on a beautiful evening here in Tampa Bay. Um, another cool bonus tip is take the river taxi and ride down Riverwalk and see all the decorations uh, via the water taxi, so the pirate water taxi. So if you've never been on the pirate water taxi, it is really cool and at Christmas time, it makes it even better seeing all the different cool lights and the Riverwalk ornaments um, that are all set up for the holiday season. So check out that video of the Pirate Water Taxi if you're interested in learning more about that. Maybe you make that night and head right over to the Winter Village at the same time. I don't know, I'm just throwing out suggestions. So I know there's a lot of other holiday things going on, but those are my three top recommendations. If you've never tried any of those three before, those would be the first three I would recommend to somebody visiting Tampa or someone new to the area. Those are great ideas for date nights or a family outing. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, don't forget to comment and subscribe, follow along, tell your friend, share it, do all those other things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.